Bank of America saying buy gold and get into cash because it's going to be a bad summer for stocks. Let's bring in our favorite bear, Harry Dent in Tampa. And Harry, what do you, what's your reaction to Bank of America? Well, you know, we, we feel the same for somewhat different reasons. I've been saying demographic trends were set to slow again in 2015 like they did in 2008 when the average household peaked in spending. Well, now it's the affluent households turn, and they're about 50% of the economy. So everybody's talking about, oh, the, is the Fed going to raise rates in June or September? We've been saying we're not going to even get there. We're going to be in a recession likely by the summer. So I have a similar forecast, at least a 20% correction in stocks this year, and I think this is likely the beginning of a big bigger correction, 60, 70 percent in the next few years. So I, I agree, get in cash, protect yourself. Gold in the early stages, like in 2008, may do okay, but we've been predicting gold's going to continue to slide towards 700 bucks in the next few years. So I don't like gold for too long. Just, just protect your, your, your gains after one of the greatest bubbles in history right. and, and, and look to rebuy later, not you know, now. Uh, uh, Harry, we love having you on. Ray Dalio, he's a really sharp uh, Wall Street guy. People really yeah. love him. Um, he's saying don't worry, valuations are still in normal territory. Leverage is not a major driving force of prices. That there are, you know, the economic sentiment is actually less bullish than the bubble era of do the dot com, you know, period. And, you know, people are saying too, Harry, that. You know, you can call you call a recession long enough. You can call yourself a seer that you've been scaring the widows and orphans now for some time, <laughs> saying that there's going to be a downturn, but it hasn't come, Harry. So how do you, well, based on your track record of calling a downturn ha that hasn't happened yet, I mean, what do you say in response to that? Well, you know, we, we are in an unprecedented time where governments around the world have just thrown in the, you know, the, the kitchen sink. I mean, nobody would have thought, not even the most liberal and progressive economists years ago, that would he be up to $14 trillion in money printing. So governments are just trying to prevent something. But we warn people, bubbles build, but they burst at least twice as fast. The first crack in the tech bubble in early 2000, in two and a half months, the market was down 40%. So better to get out and miss five or 10% than to get whacked by that 30, 40%. And I think that could start this year. So I just say it's better to be safe than sorry. I tell you, nobody has good forecasting tools today short term because governments have taken over the markets by yeah. setting yeah. zero yeah, short term no kidding. And, and long term that, You know, rate. if yeah. this analyst at Merrill Lynch was that good, he'd be in Bermuda with an umbrella drink, <laughs> with, along with all these other uh, analysts. Uh, look, on Wall that's the problem is it's not the same old market. But uh, Harry Dan, it, always, it great, not. always great to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining us okay. today.